From the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Hello listeners and welcome to another Ropecast, a podcast about everything to do with the English language and English-speaking countries. And today I'm joined again by Dan. Hello. And we're going to have another little talk about the upcoming referendum in the United Kingdom about whether the UK should stay in membership of the European Union or leave. The thing that's normally called Brexit, that is British exit. Yes. Welcome back, Dan. Thank you. Now, you've recently come from the UK. You've spent a bit of time there. And yes. I'd be really interested to hear what people in the street, that is the non-experts, are saying about this campaign and how they see it panning out? Well, I think it's it's a bit difficult to judge or gauge the, the mood of sort of ordinary people in the street. But there are certainly critical voices or voices that are critical of, um, you know, Britain staying in the European Union. Um, you know, people are saying that we need to, you know, we need to be able to control our borders. People say the the EU costs us a lot of money. I think it's very very expensive. Yeah, yeah money we should you know should better be spending on the NHS. Yeah. Uh, on, yeah. What about among, um, I mean, we're both academics. What about among academics in Britain, not all of whom are British? Well, I have been talking to a few academics and uh, the, the fear is that, you know, Brexit might lead to a bit of a brain drain, academics leaving, working in other European countries or other countries around the world. And also, of course, students, you know, if, uh, if Britain decides to leave the European Union, um, students from EU countries might have to pay full fees, you know, which is a lot of money. Yeah. So that might lead to a few problems. Yeah. This is something like £9,000? At the moment it's 9000 yeah. but for international students it is thirteen or £14,000 a year. Right. And universities and in Britain are really quite reliant on international oh, students absolutely, yes. for funding. Yes, yeah. But, you know, why as a German student would I go and decide to study in, in England if, you know, if it's so expensive? I might go elsewhere where I, I don't have to pay nearly as much money. I think the other interesting factor is we, we've been talking about the UK. You mentioned England. But if you go north of the border to Scotland, yes, Scotland. I think um, the general opinion there is rather different from England, isn't it? I think so. I think on the whole, the, the Scottish are not quite as, as sort of willing uh, or eager to leave as people in England. You know, yeah. The mood is more towards stay within the European Union or be, you know, remain part of the European Union, yes. Considering that the Scots had their own referendum not so long ago about whether to stay in the UK or not, and there was a, a modest majority yeah. in favour of staying, yeah. I wonder if the UK now decides to leave the EU, that might, where the yeah. Scots would want another referendum themselves. That might well happen, yes, yeah. you don't know. and Well, you can't, you can't be sure. Nicola Sturgeon, I think, she's been talking about possibly holding another referendum if Britain decides to leave the, the EU. Yeah. So that's the leader of the Scottish National that's the Party, Scottish National Party yeah. who yeah. Would, would very much like to have another referendum well, in Scotland absolutely. anyway. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, folks, yeah. um, if Britain were to decide to leave the EU... It might lead to the breakup of the United Kingdom itself. That is, Scots might decide they would rather stay with Europe yeah. than with the rest of the UK. Yeah. A very interesting prospect, shall we and say? What, what do you think? You know, there's also Northern Ireland and Wales. Do you think that might have implications for you know Northern Ireland and, and Wales as well? What, what are your thoughts on that, Roger? I think Wales will want to stay with England. I think Wales is um, it's it's a very small unit within the United Kingdom, a small population, not economically viable, yeah. whereas there are many Scots who think Scotland can manage on its own. It has yeah. a, a strong enough economy to survive yeah. on its own. I think Northern Ireland is a very complex matter. It's not one we can deal with in a couple no, of minutes now true, right. because it's so divided between unionists, people who want the UK to survive, and nationalists or republicans who want a united Ireland. Yeah. So I think that's a very, very complicated... That'll be a topic for a, you know, another podcast. Indeed. <laughs> That's all for today, folks. Um, we await the result of the referendum with bated breath, and yes. we'll be back to tell you all about it. Bye. You've been listening to Ropecast, brought to you by Saarland University, featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial. Mm-hmm.